The Wiki pages was a pain in the ass. Loading images created a huge headache. With our classmates, uh, class was not familiar with the system. Several students placed pages in the wrong place and overwrite the students' pages. The problem with the Wiki pages is that it has a flex structure. There's no files. All the things you name, all the things you upload is in one, if you can imagine, so a big folder. And if you are a student, what you do, you call your photo me. Now you would not call it your name, because it's you. There's nobody else exists in this world. So if I upload my picture and it's me, and then Jackie uploads her picture and it's me as well, I become a Jackie. So our students were uh, uploading pictures and they were becoming different people constantly, changing identities. So as you can see, there was a problem with the wiki pages. What they like, however, uh, that with all of these tools, and this is what the students have actually discussed this um, afternoon with you, they were able to actually see and share other people's work, and that's what you wanted to try to actually do, so they can actually see who is doing what. And because it's permanent, you can kind of look at and peek on, you know, how good or not so good the other groups are coming. Uh, with the teleconferencing, the students would have uh, said something like, I enjoy the experience of video teleconferencing. This has given me a new skills confident in trying to present my idea through different means. And this is something that if you're working with the students in class, in many instances it can be impromptu uh, discussions, you can point with your finger into a, a workbook and so on. It's much more difficult to do it at distance. You can't point your finger and show something like, look at here, look at left, look at right. Uh, we did video conferencing, you know, students again learn the skills about, uh, you know, and they realize how difficult it was to actually to conduct video conferencing. Another thing, um, when we're doing presentations to um, Intel, one of the things happened with the plot, for example, it um, had a huge database, uh, this is a more technical issue, uh, where all of the files and everything else is in one enormous database, and for our projects, we had only, I think, 15 teams with 90 students, uh, but the whole database was, was nearly 7 gigabytes in size. 7 gigabytes is your big blue DVD to HD, high definition DVD size, amount of data. And what happened was, if more than one side tried to access this, that, uh, the, the site, in many instance, instances, the plot actually froze. So, yeah, as you can see here, a student uh, she had to hold a Skype camera and pointing to a, a, a movie uh, for the Intel star, which is here, uh, being able to actually look at what they were presenting. So, um, you know, we found a few ways. We are in a We are in a that's right. Um, so that's the wikis. This is how the clone uh, side, how it look. As you can see, each, each sort of group tried to sort of put their own look on the side, but overall, the whole side, uh, have the same look across the whole the whole spectrum. So that's that's the plan. So we ditched the plan, we ditched the wikis, uh, <coughs> and we went went on to a WordPress. Why did we went on to WordPress? How did we get how did we get to a WordPress? Well, we had a renegade students. Uh, we said you have to use plan, nothing else. You have to use plan because it's sensitive, <coughs> it's uh, secure. And that's the only thing you can use because it's on our server. What one of the groups of students what they did, they set up their own site on their own server, they protected it with their password on a WordPress. And we actually learned, myself, staff, and our IT, that you can actually use a tool which is a WordPress, which is for blogging. But that's why we never thought about WordPress, because WordPress is a blogging tool where you want to tell to everybody else. How great you are, what is it you're doing? It's, we never thought about it, we can actually use it collaboratively. Whereas the, our students demonstrated to us that you can actually use WordPress in a collaborative meta, manner. And, and we had adopted, from their experience, we adopted actually WordPress now uh, into, our, into our, our project. So not only the students learning from us, we're learning actually from students as well at the same time. As the students have discussed this afternoon, um, this number of advantages with, with the WordPress, it's in terms of the ease of use, ease of update, and one of the things, we don't actually want our students to become technically proficient of using or learning about the, 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 
the software. That's not the primary focus. Our focus is about collaboration, exchange of ideas, exchange of, of, of files. So that one I can actually recommend uh, WordPress as one of the uh, online tools are uh, very useful. In terms of emails, um, email one of the limitations that I said is the is the size, so is the the megabytes, the um, the number of um, uh, how big your files can be. Secondly, with the emails, as you know, uh, who is not getting flooded with the email these days? It's very difficult to go through the emails. Secondly, it's very difficult to also find later on the files. Uh, you can be <coughs> you can be also selective who you send the email address. If you actually put your stuff online, everyone can access that information. Whereas if you don't have the email, you can't access the information. Uh, uh, in terms of the text messages, uh, quite important tool in terms of, as I discussed before, when you are late for your teleconferencing and so on, or something's not working, quite, quite useful. In terms of cost, uh, it's actually it's a, my personal mobile phone, so it's cost me, the text message, uh, but it's, uh, it's now, one of the things um, this was a this was a study done by uh, for for GIST. Uh, it was first year students uh, in the UK. It was asking the students how familiar, how familiar, comfortable, and not comfortable they are with, with various online tools. And as you can see, making wikis uh, for those students in the first year is very uncomfortable and unfamiliar. So uh, I'm not really surprised that with us trialing the, the big hits, uh, they ourselves, our students, were not comfortable and, and uh, using this, the, the, the wiki, wiki pages. As you can see, in terms of using social networks as a Facebook, uh, it's very familiar to, to the students, although it's indicating they're not very comfortable uh, using it for uh, uh, in terms of like a, a, in a course for studying actually. So in terms of actually for us using the WordPress, uh, meant that sort of, there was a familiarity in terms of the interface, but it was different in terms of uh, what they use actually for their social life, in terms of when they want to actually meet up with their friends and so on. What's next? Um, this year, um, this semester, we're running a project called GIFT. And we are engaged with uh, eight universities, uh, Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, um, Australia, ourselves, and uh, university in, in, in Alberta. As you can see, uh, it's quite chaotic uh, in terms of the connection. And what we're doing is, it's called, it's a project theme, GIFT. And it's very much so based on our experience that we, that we have been able to achieve through this project that we're actually able to now uh, engage uh, with the projects, with, with academics and staff and, and students from other universities on a scale where now we have about 300 students engaged through all these eight universities working together. Um, and if you want to find out more, um, you know, how this works, um, the, the, uh, the organization, um, please do email me and I will be happy to, to, to let you know uh, in terms of how it actually sort of how it's organized uh, in terms of so these, these students can actually uh, work together. But the focus of this talk is about um, the tools that we can use. Are there any questions? Yes.
one way we need to demonstrate to uh, industry partners that the work is actually secured. So it's not open to other people to, to peek in and looking at it. Secondly, so they, they set up on their own, they hosted their own WordPress site. And, and secondly, what they also have done, um, they use the WordPress for their own benefit in terms of actually having discussions throughout the project. And they were posting up, uh, they were very active in posting up actually information what they had found at other places. Whereas the students who were using the, who used, used the blog because it was quite clunky interface, they haven't used it to that level as the students who use WordPress. Since then, when we start using WordPress now, the students actually are doing a P feedback to each other because it's very easy to provide P feedback on WordPress. All you do is just go, you, you click on reply, and you type, you type a feedback, or you can upload a picture or whatever. So, just on that, is that, are they, are they just doing that, or is that what they've been asked to do? They, the, the, way, the way the project is set up, these, these students, they were the renegades um, uh, a group. They actually, they have not been asked to do it, they did it themselves. But uh, the way the project we try to do, which is with this um, situation here, is we have students who are in one country, a clients to students from other countries. So the clients are designer or they're actually providing feedback to each other on the projects. So it's a part of the, how the project is organized. So they're actually pro uh, being provided feedback now because it's a requirement of as a client giving a, a feedback to your designers whether you like it or not like it, what is they doing. So it's a little bit slightly different scenario, but we, as I said, we have learned a lot from our students what's possible. And it's about how you can link, how you can lower the barrier to provide the, you know, how to barrier in terms of uploading, providing feedback with the, with the least amount of effort.